Portola Landfill is a small community landfill in the northern Sierra Nevada mountains. Softly Field Road C&D Landfill was an existing C&D pit per se. It's an unlined landfill and we had some groundwater contamination. Gas, fires, stormwater runoff. The Department of Health in Escambia County issued a public health notice for respiratory issues. Prior to closure turf becoming available, we had looked at doing the traditional final cap. Typical soil closure systems, you would have erosion, sediment running off the site, continual maintenance, trying to keep grass established. We've had experts come in from all over to try to grow grass with promises that they would be able to get vegetation on our slopes and our conditions, and we've just not been able to do it. In the landfill business, erosion is probably about 95% of your issues. All your soil, all your grass seeds are down in the ditch, and, and you know, so is your money. There was no question at the end that we needed a well-engineered system that would seal up this site and make it right. Closure turf was recommended to us by someone in the solid waste field. We were able to take a good close look at it. The first thing we did was analyze the, the cost and the savings. I think one of the biggest advantages of closure turf was the avoidance of long-term maintenance costs. Your long-term care with it is minimal. You maintain landfill gas control. You minimize fires and it looks like grass and you don't have to cut the grass, so to speak. We did have to go to the State Bond Commission to get approval uh, to borrow the money. But once again, for us, the, the cost savings and maintenance per year was more than enough to pay the note uh, for the bond issue. Closure turf consists of three components. You've got your liner portion, which is the super grip net. And you've got your synthetic turf, which is your grass component. And you've got your sand infill. It takes the best of both worlds. It's a system that looks like grass. You could call it exposed. You know if there's any damage to the system because you can see it. From a design standpoint, closure turf is actually more forgiving than soil systems because you can run closure turf at a two to one slope, whereas with a soil system, if you go anything greater than three to one, you're gonna be fighting it with maintenance issues. One of the advantages of going to the closure turf was the ease of installation. We were under a tight time schedule to get the project in, so we set a hard deadline in our contract the contractor did meet that deadline, and coincidentally enough, there was a storm that night. So it was kind of cool that that had happened, but we've gotten a, the project on, uh, done on time. We had residents come out to the site, and we took them around the facility and showed it to them, and they were all happy. They were glad that we were putting in a closure system that would minimize the dust and odor issues. We didn't go with the standard green uh, turf. We decided to go with a tan color to blend in with the surroundings a bit more. The greatest impact that we've seen uh, with the installation of the closure turf is one, our erosion problems have gone away. Uh, we don't have to have safety issues with getting someone on a tractor on that slope cutting the grass and it's trapping more and more of the methane gas that's being released by the, the landfill. Since we've installed the closure turf, our numbers on collecting gas have tremendously risen. That does have a significant environmental impact that the greenhouse gases are not being released into the atmosphere. Any runoff going off the facility is going to be clean. When the water comes down, it's not that old muddy water that comes down and hits the canal or the creeks. It's good, clear water. You don't have the odor issues. You don't have leachate seeping out of the side slopes and running off the sides. It improves the environmental health and quality of the area that it's utilized in. I've worked with the landfill for the last 20 years, and I would have to say that hands down, closure turf is the way to go in the environment that we're in. Seeding's believing. I mean, to me, if anybody doubts it, they need to come to Softly and look at it, especially after the unprecedented rain events we've had. From a short-term stability standpoint and long-term post-closure maintenance cost perspective, the closure turf is an absolute right decision to make for Portola Landfill. Personally, as an engineer, not representing the county, I'm quite impressed with closure turf, and yes, it is a real deal. I would say closure turf would be at the top of the list in terms of the investments. It's worth its weight in gold. So far, we've seen this as a win-win, and we don't really see how it's not going to be. Closure turf is different. It's thinking out of the box, and it works.